everybody. Here at Very British we will be celebrating everything that makes the United Kingdom of Great Britain very British. So it's been a while since my last video but I'm still here. So welcome back everyone and for anyone who is new to the channel it's lovely to have you here. So I'll be back every week. Uh, keep checking back. They will be coming out every week though. So if you like the video hit the like button and if you're new to the channel then consider subscribing and push the notification bell to keep up with everything that I will be releasing throughout 2021. So today's video is all about May Day. Now while May Day is on May the 1st which was yesterday, uh, it fell on a Saturday this year, the May Bank holiday will be on Monday, uh, always falling on the day of the following Monday after the 1st of May which has now been moved to the new May Day holiday since 1978. So this Monday is it and all the schools, banks, pretty much everything will be closed this Monday. So Sunday services. So let's start this. It is the time of the year when the warmer weather begins and flowers and trees start to blossom and it is said to be a time of love and romance throughout the Isles. It is when people celebrate the coming of summer and with lots of different customs that are expressions of happiness and hope after a very long winter. Traditional English May Day celebrations include Morris dancing, crowning a May Day Queen and dancing around a Maypole. Although summer does not officially begin until June, May Day marks its beginning. May Day celebrations have been carried out across Great Britain for over 2,000 years. The Romans celebrated the festival with Flora, goddess of fruit and flowers, which marked the beginning of summer. It was held annu annually from April the 28th until May the 3rd. But nowadays it has been toned down quite a lot. There aren't any special foods to celebrate the day with, but it is still celebrated uh, with specially dressed performers and Morris dancing. Okay, so the maypoles. On May Day, people used to cut down young trees and stick them in the ground in the village to mark the arrival of summer. People danced around the tree poles in celebration of the end of winter and the start of the fine weather that would allow planting to begin. Maypoles were very common all over England and were kept from one year to the next. Schools would practice skipping around the pole for weeks before the final show on the village greens. The end results would be either a beautiful plaited pattern of ribbons round the pole or a tangled cat's cradle depending on how much rehearsing had been done. Maypoles are still part of some village life and on May Day villagers dance around it. Okay so then we have Morris dancing which you actually might have seen in some places throughout Britain. Uh, you might have seen it more often than actually seen a maypole these days as well. So a traditional dance seen throughout the month of May is Morris dancing. It is a traditional English form of folk dancing performed by groups of men or women. Morris dancing has been danced for hundreds of years and passed down through the generations in villages of rural England. Although you do get them actually in other parts as well. It's not just England. I've seen them in Wales and they definitely do happen in Scotland as well in some places. It just depends on the village and on the people. So, Morris dancing has been danced for hundreds of years and passed down through the generations in vir villages of uh, rural areas. The dances are usually performed at festivals such as May Day, Whitsun and Christmas. So, in parts of Wales, you will actually see them sometimes at Christmas time. The origins of Morris dancing. There are several thoughts on the origins of Morris dancing. The name may refer to the possibility of the form of dancing come into England from the moors of North Africa or it may have been called Moorish simply because the dancers sometimes painted their faces black and people compared this to the dark skinned moors. But a lot of people do think that that is just the traditional paint um, used for their face paint because of it being such an old tradition uh, and obviously there was less materials available back then. People nowadays do think that maybe it came from Africa, but that's very that's a lot less likely that that happened. So the music 
that accompanies Mayday is, and Morris dancing, the dancing is very lively and accompanied by an accordion player, a fiddle player, traditionally used in the Cotswolds, or a drum, which can be seen uh, on the northwest of England. So the costumes then that Morris dancers wear, uh, they wear different clothes depending on the part of the country in which they dance. They are often dressed in white and coloured uh, baldricks, which are coloured belts that go around their chest. Now, in Wales, a lot of the time I've seen them, they've been green. Uh, their general clothing has generally been green and white, but it can obviously change depending on the area. So, border Morris dancers dancers generally wear tattered jackets black their faces probably or uh, originating as a form of disguise which is actually quite a common common custom from years ago so it was custom for everyone to go a may in early on may day in the 17th century so an english poet wrote there's not a budding boy or a girl this day but it got up and gone to bring in May. So it was something that everybody did used to really take part in. And unfortunately, the past uh, few years and the past century, it has fizzled out of tradition, unfortunately. It can still be seen in places, but unfortunately it's just not as common. So decorating the houses on May Day. So May Day began early in the morning people would go out before sunrise in order to gather flowers and greenery to decorate their houses and villages within the belief that the vegetation spirits would bring good fortune and then you have washing early in the morning dew which would be girls would make a special point of washing their faces in the dew of the early morning they believed that this would make them very beautiful for the following year so another celebration then of May Day is the May Day Queen. So the May Queen, so for the rest of the day, was given over to various festivals. There was dancing on the village green, archery contests, exhibitions of strength. The highlight of the day was the crowning of the May Queen, the human replica of Flora. By tradition, she took no part in the games or dancing, but sat like a queen on a flowered deck on a flower decked chair to watch her subjects. So, unfortunately, that is something that has kind of fizzled. So then we have May Day garlands. Now, garlands these days are mostly only seen around Christmas time. But, young girls would make May garlands. They cover two hoops, one at right angles, inside the other. Wild leaves and flowers, and sometimes they would put a doll inside to represent the goddess of spring. In some parts of Britain, May the 1st is also called Garland Day. So you may have also heard that as well. Uh, so then you have May Day lifting, which is, there was once a tradition in England of lifting, where a gang of young men would lift a pretty girl in a flower bed deck chair on May Day. Then the girl would choose a boy on May the 2nd. Another one then, another tradition, is in the north of England... The 1st of May was a kind of late April fooling when all sorts of pranks would take place and May Goslin was the shout if you managed to trick someone the response would be May Goslin's past and gone, you're the fool for making me one. So, that is that. So, there May Day as it can be seen across Britain today. So, uh, it, it is still celebrated all across Britain but... Most of the festivities are in rural villages in England. So in some places in England, May Day celebrations still begin on sunset on the 30th of April. They include lots of floral decorations and processions through the towns and villages. So one of those is a village near Oxford called charlton on Otmore. And there, a May Day festival is held involving all children from the primary school. It starts with a special May Day song, followed by, followed by a procession. Everyone wears white and carries garlands of flowers. The girls wear straw bands and posies and ribbons in their hair. 
So, when they then get to the centre of town, the posies are laid in a great spread below the uh, rood screen, which is specially decorated with a rood cross completely wrapped in yule leaves and branches. After a very special service, all the children process back to their school with all their families and friends. They dance a number of May Day dances and the May Pay May Pole ones too before tucking into a great May Day feast. Which is in Britain traditionally more like a roast dinner as such. Then we have Rochdale, so Rochdale Sweeps Festival. Rochdale's annual sweeps festival celebrates the traditional holiday that chimney sweeps used to enjoy on May the first. It was the one time of the year when the sweeps could put away their tools and have some fun. The Sweeps Festival is a colourful mix of music, dancing and entertainment. An opportunity to see some of the traditional dances and hear the songs that have been passed down from generation to generation. And then we have Padstow. So Padstow has the oldest May Day celebration in Britain which still takes place to this day. Now, obviously, with the current events since last year, it might not necessarily be the case, but it uh, is the place where the oldest celebrations still take place. So, uh, Padstow Celebrations is in Cornwall. Its roots date back to the 14th century. Every May Day, thousands of people come to see two famous hobby horses, the Old Oss and the Blue Ribbon Oss. Celebrations in Padstow officially start the night before um, before at midnight when a group of mayors, as in May Day, so mayors meet outside the Golden Lion Inn to serenade the owner with their night song. Uh, the whole town is ablaze with bluebells, forget-me-nots, cow lips, sycamore twings and dancing of other celebrations take place all all day so if you want to see some of these songs that were sung these traditions uh have a look on my cuppa page i'm going to put all the songs and uh that that are sung on there uh they're going to be on there for the members so thank you very much everybody for listening uh of course if you want to check them out crack on So thank you very much everybody for listening, if you like that video hit the like button, feel free to leave a comment, it would be lovely to see the comments on the video, subscribe to the channel, remember to hit the notification bell, and obviously if you could as well, if you could share the video so that other people can see it as well, that would be very much appreciated, thank you very much. So until